if you are stuck on this essay, like I think a great thing to do is to like just go through the action, go through like, some self interview exercises. I kind of like to say that sometimes when you're thinking about your college essay, what you're really doing is you're really writing a response to an interview question that you were asked. Now, it could be asked by Stanford's admissions office, but you can also ask yourself that question or get a friend to ask it to you. And sometimes that's a way of, of jostling your memory and, or jostling how you think through the essay. All right. Next up, we're going to start to break down some of the short answer prompts. The first one is all about what is the most significant challenge that society faces today. Now, I will say that it is hard to have a truly original idea, something that will that literally no other student will write about, but there's definitely gradients to it. If you were to say like poverty or climate change without getting more specific or more thoughtful, that is going to be an answer that feels more generic and stands out less than some other responses. Now, I do think that specificity, right, is one axis you can really enhance on. Counterintuitivity, counter, counterintuitivity, counterintuitivity, yeah, <laughs> is that a word? Intuitive. Counterintuitiveness, I'm pretty sure is the word, yeah. You're seeing my process live and in person, folks. But yeah, specificity or choosing something counterintuitive is also really helpful. I think choosing something counterintuitive in particular is a way to make yourself stand out. Now, the flip side of, of choosing the counterintuitive is that you have to get the other side, to, get the reader to agree to some extent. And if you were getting, if the reader disagrees with your counterintuitive proposal, then it, they can actually hold it against you. So there's both risk and reward. Now, I would also say another thing that you want to be careful with, with this prompt or with this short answer is a lot of folks like to like almost like wrap in a solution and you just don't have enough space for that. I think I would much rather see like an extra sentence of explanation that, again, reveal something about your thinking or your values or your motivations than trying to, in, in one sentence, solve climate change. Because I, I promise you that neither you nor the world's best climate scientists are going to solve climate sentence or present its solution in one sentence. And again, this is also a place to understand that Stanford is a progressive institution. It tends to have progressive social values, right? So you may authentically believe that like tax rates being too high or some other sort of like conservative political philosophy is like the biggest problem facing the world today. You might believe that there's too much immigration, whatever it is that you believe. Um, independent of your beliefs, you have to understand who your audience is. So writing something like that can really rub your audience the wrong way. And I think for some of the parents in the audience, this is something that is worth reflecting on a little bit more explicitly in that even some of the things that may have been like normal or standard or mainstream opinions in your social context, either today or even when you were in college, th those may not necessarily be as acceptable today when it comes to these kinds of elite institutions that tend to be very progressive. 